Hello and welcome to another indie game review. This week I will be taking a look at an indie puzzle game called Donut Country. Okay, I said puzzle game, but the main puzzle, at least for the most of it, is to just drag as many things into the hole you control and I presume drag it all into the earth, which is hollow in this game. However, that's not all. The story revolves around a raccoon controlling the hole to get some kind of points by doing so, and throughout the game many of the side NPCs get their issues resolved. Somehow. Now that I've think about it, all of it seems to be a metaphor for the afterlife, or it could just be me giving the game more credit than it's due. And the story isn't even important, the reason why it exists is to just tie the levels together and carry the, in quotation marks, comedy. And it can be skipped freely, you won't miss that much. Now on the other hand we have the gameplay which is actually quite a lot of fun. The main part of the game is somewhat alike to Katamari Damacy, but instead of controlling a huge ball, you control a hole that gets bigger with any item it consumes. It usually starts off small, only being able to consume grass and cups, but it always grows big enough to swallow buildings and hills, which is actually a lot of fun. I love watching it grow to humongous sizes and be able to swallow even the things that were obstacles at the start. And it even gets upgraded later on with a catapult that lets you shoot things back out of it, which is used to complete some actually quite fun puzzles later on in the game. However, one thing does bother me about this game, which is its lack of an open world mode, where you go around a huge map, starting off small and then ramping up to swallow, well, the world I guess, or the universe even, which would have been amazing to watch and it could have fixed one major problem that I have with this game. It is too short. It only took me an hour or so to finish the whole game and the replayability value is almost zero. After I saw all the puzzles, there wasn't much compelling me to replay the game, well besides making the footage for this video, and combined with the price of it being 12 euros, I'm sorry to say that this game is just not worth buying at this moment. So to wrap this all up, The World Country is an actually fun and beautiful game. And I want to give a big shout out to Ben Esposito for making it. This game has been solo produced for a few years and it's actually quite competently made. But to say it again, sadly not worth it. Unless it's on a at least 50% sale. Or if it gets new gameplay modes or more levels. And if you made it this far, please consider throwing a like on this video or even subscribing if you want to see more of my reviews. And as always, goodbye and thanks for listening.